Today, just as it happens every day, many thousands of people throughout the world will be setting off on journeys in the hope of being able to forge safe and meaningful lives in the new country. Some will be carrying passports containing visas issued by the country to which they are heading. These people will most likely be able to choose many aspects of this new phase their new job or vocation, the city in which they tend to live, the mode of travel they'll take, and the timing and the length of their journey. They should be considered the lucky ones, and more likely than not, they will be citizens of developed countries. But today, just as it happens every day, many others will be setting off on journeys they know will be long and dangerous, so much so that they may allow themselves the realisation that they may be abused, they may be exploited, or they may even die en route. These people will most likely be facing considerable uncertainty about the journey ahead. Many will not have visas in their passports and some will not have passports or travel documents. They know in general terms how to get from various places along the way, but many things will remain unclear. These are not the luckier ones, and more likely than not, they will be from developing countries and fragile states some having had their lives upended by civil conflict, persecution, or other forms of disaster. I've read out these comments that are from the chapter. They're the introduction to the chapter, slightly abridged, to make it a bit shorter. But it's just to make, when we are talking about statistics, when we are talking about research, when we're talking about governance, we always need to keep in mind the people that we are serving, the people that we are seeking to assist. And sometimes we can forget about that. So that's one of the reasons why we brought this chapter into the World Migration Report, to remind ourselves what people are facing when they are contemplating migration, especially unsafe, irregular migration.